as we prepare ourselves for Ramadan, to do a lot of good deeds, we have to prepare ourselves to welcome these 10 days as well, because the, the actions which we will we'll do in these 10 days will be most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than other actions, other days. And what kind of actions we can do in these 10 days? There are many actions. One of the specific things our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa has mentioned, it is, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أَعْظَمُ إِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَلَا أَحَبُّ إِلَيْهِ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحُ فِيهِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَيَّامِ الْعَشْرِ The hadith, the words of the hadith, that in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most honorable days, and the action in those days, most beloved to him, is in the ten days of the hijjah So the Prophet ﷺ said, فَأَكْثِرُوا So increase in these ten days. Increase in these ten days. What you have to increase? The Prophet ﷺ said, مِنَ التَّهْلِيلِ وَالتَّكْبِيرِ وَالتَّمْجِيرِ Saying, لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Saying, Allahu Akbar. Saying, Subhanallah. Increase this in these ten days. Saying, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Increase these words. Subhanallah, many actions are there. Salat is there. Fasting is there. Which has much more honor. And it need much more time. And physical body. And many more things. Like you have to do the wudu and things, everything. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam has mentioned, very easy thing. And there is the... Raising the kalima of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Raising these words you can do at any time. When you are going to bed, when you wake up, when you are driving, when you are walking, when you are doing anything, you have a leisure time, just do it. You don't have to do the wadu for that. You don't have to prepare yourself for that. You don't have to come to a particular place for that. There is no prohibition time for that. Just raise the takbirat in these ten days because these are most honorable takbirat in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the love of Sahaba to this action was so great that Abu Bakr, uh, uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an and Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala an. They both used to go outside in the market for their work. And they used to say takbirat very loudly. When they say, the other people listen to them and they start saying very loudly. So whole market used to say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Subhanallah, they never felt shy. You know, when we have to say something, takbirat or something, yes, we should not say in a manner which disturb other people. But we can say in ourselves, but we feel very shy. While the people, when they do the shaitani actions, or shaitani slogans, they don't feel shy. They just don't bother others. And they do this and they, why we should bother about doing something which is haq? Among public or in the private life. And if we have the correct intention, if we do according to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, it might be the starting point of your da'wah. When you will say this word, your colleague might ask you, what is this about? You can start the story of Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam with that. Somebody else can ask something else. You can start with him about Isa alayhi salatu salam. And this can be the starting point for in your life for da'wah. So raise the Kalimat. Raise the takbirat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And remember, the takbirat, there are two kinds of takbirat. One is starts, which is general takbirat. In these ten days, you can do any time and any, anywhere. But there are takbirat al-muqayyid. There are few takbirat. We'll speak about that later on. But takbirat al-muqayyid, from the day of Arafah, we started after every Salat. All the people raised the Takbirat for whole three days for of Eid. So this is Takbirat al-Muqayyid. You have to say that as well. But that is 
in jama'ah, all the people after the salat, on their own they do this, after every salat, because the Prophet wasallam used to do like this. But other than that, in 10 days you can do as much as you can. And you can do all kind of good deeds, because al-amal salih the good actions, all the good actions which you think, recitation of the Qur'an, yes you can do that, Ex- performing extra nawafil, you can do that, giving the zakat and charity, a lot of charity, yes you can do, all the good actions which you think you can do, you can do that. Fasting, you can do that, but many people think that the sunnah is to fast all 10 days, no, this is not the sunnah. This is among these hadith, the hadith is good action, so fasting is good action, so you can fast, no problem. But if you think that, oh, I have to fast, so it is, it is wrong belief. But you can fast these 10 days. But there is one day, day of Arafah, which will come. And that day, if you fast, oh, beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that if your fast is accepted in the sight of Allah, so the sins of your previous year and the future one year, it will be forgiven with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the day of Arafah. So you can do a lot of good deeds, so these days are coming. And then one of the good things about these 10 days, after 10 days you perform the Eid. And on the day of Eid, you do the Rabiha, you sacrifice the animal. So remember, if you are intending, making niyyah, that you are going to do the Zabiha, you are going to do the Zabiha, Remembering Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam sunnah and the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So these 10 days you are not allowed to do few things. The same things as the people of the Hajj they don't do. For example, trimming your or shaving your hair, cutting your nails, you are not allowed to do this. If you are going to do the Rabiha. And as soon as you do the zabiha, you sacrifice your animal, then you can do this. So this is in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, إِذَا دَخَلَ الْعَشْرُ وَأَرَادَ أَحَدَكُمْ أَنْ يُضَحِّ When the ten days starts and one of you intend to do the zabiha, so he should not cut his hair or his nails. This is what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said. And this Zabiha, it is the Sunnah of Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And among this Sunnah, when you do this Sunnah, remember, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam always did this Zabiha. So every person who can afford it, who have enough means, he must do this Zabiha. This is not for, but highly, highly recommended. And for every household, a person who is responsible for his children and wife, they should do one zabiha for their own family. If anybody wants to do more, there is no limit. Our beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to do two, and sometimes the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did many and a lot of like 65 zabiha he did once. So you can do as many as you want. But remember one thing, this zabiha, it is not the sadaqah. It is not the sadaqah that you can give the money to the poor people instead of zabiha. No, this is not the sadaqah. This is the sunnah of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. As you know the story of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show him in his dream that he's slaughtering his son, beloved son Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam. And he did it. He took the son and he, he fulfilled the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So at the time he put him to slaughter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced with the sheep, with the lamb from the heaven. So this is the sunnah, and some of the scholars have said that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had not replaced that, Allah would make obligatory upon all the people to slaughter one of their child in their life for the sake of Allah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wisdom, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced with, with the lamb. So this is not the sadaqah, this is the shi'ar of Islam. Sadaqah is something different, charity is something different. 